is Sam Bennett's son. This is it, Gwen. Ivy's secret is about to be exposed, and lives are going to be shattered. And after the dust clears, we'll be there to pick up the pieces for Julian and Ethan. And we will both get the men of our dreams. Now all we have to do is just uh, sit back and watch the show. Mr. Crane so angry. This must be so embarrassing for Ethan. All right. It's time, you harlot. It's time the whole world knew what I know. Julian, you are drunk. You wish my horrible life. How dare you denigrate me in front of family and friends. I will not be embarrassed by your ravings another moment. You don't have to come back into your world not after what you've done to me. Julia, what has gotten into you? You are ruining Ethan's engagement party. <laughs> Ethan. Stop this. And stop it now or I will make you pay and pay dearly. Father. Why don't you let mother go? That's right. It is your mother. Yes, she's my mother, and you're my father. Oh, yes. Look, what's wrong, father? Why are you acting like this? <laughs> father. <laughs> father. <laughs> what, did grandfather do something to you? Is that why you're acting like this? Where's this coming from? Father, grandfather. <laughs> You don't have a clue, do you, Ethan? <laughs> Tell you what, your father is acting like a bigger fool than usual. He's had too much to drink. I'm not drunk. And I know exactly what I'm doing, and I know exactly what you did. I knew Ivy was in a loveless marriage, but I didn't know it was this bad. I have never seen Mr. Crane like this. He's so close to losing control. Laura, well, you're not around here all the time. You don't know what happens when you finish work and go home. You know, TC has a point. Remember that time Luis came over to pick you up? He heard gunshots fired from Julian's bedroom. When he went inside to investigate, Ivy and Julian came up with this cover story. They never really admitted what happened. Now I'm wondering if there was another situation like this. Maybe there's spousal abuse in Ivy and Julian's marriage. You know, I think I should stick around in case Julian becomes violent. For all we know, Ivy's unhappiness in her marriage could stem from the fact that she's a battered wife. I love it. <laughs> Sam thinks Ivy is a battered wife? Oh, well, until he finds out that Julian is livid because he now knows that Ethan is Sam's son. And Sam will be just as crazy as Julian when he finds out Ivy hid the truth from him all these years. Mm. Fuse is lit, and the bomb is about to explode. I know the truth! Now, Ivy, you played me for a fool all these years. I don't know what you're talking about! You lied to me, woman! Day in and day out, year in and year out, you lied to me with every breath you took, you deceitful, duplicitous bitch! What a shame. All those beautiful, broken, mangled things. And the best part is, Ivy's next. You know, if Julian doesn't rip her apart for the secret about Ethan, Sam will. No more!
Are you all right, Mrs. Green? No. Besides being humiliated and embarrassed, yes, I'm fine. What happened to set Julian off that way? I've never seen him so angry. How the hell should I know? He's nothing but a drunken idiot. That's no news to you, is it? Still, to make such a complete fool out of himself, to, to ruin the party and embarrass my son, oh, I am going to make him pay and pay dearly. You really have no idea what he set Julian off that way? Maybe Julian has a brain tumor? No, that's impossible. He'd have to have a brain first. I've never seen him that angry. Nor have I. Well, there's only one thing that I could think of that would set Julian off like that. What? Has Julian learned that Ethan is really Sam's son? No. There's no way Julian can know the truth about Ethan. Well, then why is he calling you those names? Tramp, slut, harlot? No. Because... Because... Because Julian saw me dancing with Sam, and his besotted brain must have connected that with the vision he had of Sam and I making love in his magic mirror. No. No, there's no way that Julian could know that Ethan is Sam's son. Unless you told him, Eve. I didn't tell a soul. Really? I don't want Sam to know that I lied to him about Ethan's birth certificate. And the truth would just destroy Grace. And plus, there's a baby to consider. Who knows what this dress would due to the pregnancy. Now then it has to be something else. Because I know you, you would never betray me. And we destroyed my papers that proved that Ethan is Sam's son. The three of us are the only ones who know. There. All gone. The files are erased. Yes, Mama. Into space. Okay, so you're absolutely sure there's no way anyone can find that information on your computer, right? I am sure, Mama. I have erased every bit of information about Ethan's birth, so no one will know that he's not a crane. The only people who know are you, me, and Mrs. Crane, and we will never tell. So Ethan's secret is safe. There's no way that Julian could know. Ethan is Sam's son. He's either just completely drunk or insane. What kind of a lie, Mrs. Crane, was it all? It had to have been big. But what could be so bad that would make Julian want to trash his own home like that? I have no idea. Teresa has no idea that Ivy's troubles are about to become her own. Because <laughs> when Ethan finds out that she's known all along, that he is Sam Bennett's son and she kept it from him, he's going to toss her out like the trash she is. And he's going to come running back to you. And then Julian will be all mine, Ethan will be all yours, and we will be the queen and princess of the Grain Empire. Please. No, look. Bring my father a black cup of coffee, please. For the last time, I am not drunk. Yes, well, something's wrong. And frankly, you've stunned me with your behavior. You've embarrassed everyone here, yourself most of all. You don't know the whole story. Yes. Well, I know that a crane always behaves with dignity. At all times. Your behavior in there was hardly dignified damaged our family's reputation. I've damaged our family's reputation. No, that dishonor goes to your mother. She has destroyed this family. She has wantonly destroyed it in the morning's light. The whole world will know where, when, how, and whom she did it with. I wonder what's keeping Crane from blowing his wife out of the water. 
Maybe I'll lower the boom on Ethan first. Thank you. Your father, this should help you find your footing. A cup of black coffee. Think it'll make it all better, cure what ails me? I'm only trying to help. I'm not drunk. Would that I were, I could sleep this off, but I can't not this time. Father, what's wrong? And what do you think Mother did to you? I don't think anything I know for a fact. But whatever it is, I'm sure it's not as horrible as you're making it out to be. No. It's worse. It's much worse. Well, Father, what is it? What has got you so upset? Father, is there something I can do to help you? You really care about me, don't you, Ethan? Yes, Father, I love you. I love you too, Ethan. Which is why you will never understand how much this is tearing me apart. What is tearing you apart? You're getting hurt. It's the last thing I ever wanted. Under the circumstances, it seems to be un unavoidable in the light of what your mother's done. What has she done? What is this all about? You'll find out, as will everyone else. Why don't you just enjoy these last few moments of happiness while you can? And, you know, always remember, I, I never want to see you hurt. What is he talking about? And what did Mother do that could possibly hurt me? Crane secret revealed. You think Crane is Sam Bennett? Uh, everyone, uh, I have an announcement. Um, um, you're all no doubt speculating on my earlier behavior. You think me uh, uh, a ranting drunk with a bit of a violent streak. Um, I assure you I'm not drunk. Uh, as for my enfant terrible moment, it was completely justified. Why, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. In fact, what I'm about to say will affect everyone in this room. You see, it's something that my, um, uh, bed-hopping tramp of a wife hid from me for years. Are you sure that Julian doesn't know about Ethan? How could he? The fuse is even the bomb squad can't save Ivy and Teresa now. Yes. I'm just sorry our engagement party has turned into such a mess. I don't care about that. All that matters is that you are all right. Teresa, as long as you are by my side, nothing can hurt me. Uh, now that I have everyone's attention, I'm going to tell you what set me off earlier. And once you know, I'm sure you'll agree I had every right to act the way I did. Are you ready, Ivy, dear? I'm about to reveal the secret you've kept low these many years. Finally, Ivy will be blown out of the water. Oh, and the truth will cause it. Idle wave, the likes of which the world has never seen. You surprised I know all about your secret? But dearly beloved wife, I do. 
known for months now, which I had a secret. I just couldn't quite figure out what it was.